A lot of people have asked us to do a comparison between the FOF Creative Icon and the FOF Creative Icon 2. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com. And I'm Liz from Sew A Lot. And we're in the middle of filming the new online course, the FOF Bootcamp, which will be for owners of these two machines that have the Wi-Fi capabilities. Right. Right. But we do want to highlight some of the newest features that are included with the Icon 2. So they look very similar upon first glance, and they are very similar. Their bodies are the same, they are on the same platform, mm -hmm. so a lot of the parts that go into them are the same. But there are some feature differences between Icon 2 and Icon. Um, one feature difference right away that you see is, it's silly, but it's true, Icon yes. 2 has a built-in ruler on it. Yes. So and you've got a little bit more accessibility of just right. measuring or converting the metric to inches, whichever way you have to go. Which we did <laughs> not have on Icon, which is really nice. Um, the other thing that's a little different about Icon 2 is not really a big deal, but its buttons are square while icons are round. Um, one, of the, <laughs> one of the hardest things that it's taken me to get used to of is that the USB ports on Icon are over here on the top. Yes and Icon 2 are over here on the side down at the bottom. Now we do want you to use your Wi-Fi capabilities, so you might not be using your USB right. sticks as unless, much unless after you, you take this course. Unless you want to charge your phone. <laughs> oh yeah, you can totally charge your phone and on the speed both control. machines. The speed control is actually the issue. The speed control for me, I keep losing where the speed control is because it's just slightly in a different spot. But there are some cool new features on the Icon 2, such as the AI detection. So artificial intelligence has been added to this machine, one for being able to recognize which presser foot is on the machine. Now what does that actually mean? It means that it's gonna recommend a foot for the stitch you've picked, but then if it sees a different foot. It's gonna tell you that it recommends a different foot or if you put that foot on backwards. Now that sounds silly, but it's as it teachers. Happens. It happens. We see it happening actually in the class more often and usually we're just guiding them, hey, you, by the way, that foot needs to be turned around. Well, now the machine will actually tell you because it's recognizing it not being a correctly positioned now, foot. Right now, that only works with the feet that come with the machine. So the ones that have the numbers right, or right. numbers and letters on so them. If you push an additional feet, it's not going to know what those are, and it might say unrecognized foot on there, which but is not a big deal. It's not going to stop you from sewing. It's just to make you aware. It has been helpful already yes. in the classes I've been teaching. Yes. Another thing that Icon 2 has that Icon did not was a voice control system. So you can actually hook up your Alexa or your Google Play to Icon 2 and talk to it. And give it some commands like right. picking a stitch or looking up video tutorials that you don't know what they're called. That but is what can, I have found yes. the most useful thus far because you've got, I mean, even in Icon we had video tutorials There's in there. There's over a hundred video tutorials in here. But people never really utilize them because sometimes they forgot where they were. They're kind of in there and layered right. and such. But if you can ask Alexa, right. is what I use. That's what I use as well. And now, if you can ask her for to teach me how to do such and such, she will pull up a video for you and show you how to do it. And you don't actually have to have the device, no. the physical device, because it is a free app you can download. Yes. And um, you can just talk to your phone and Alexa will be connected to your machine and it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Yeah. So, and that again is a software thing. So, as they evolve and grow, we'll be able to talk to her more. I'm looking forward to some of the future features that they've told us that are coming. Right. That we can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Um, another thing that Icon 2 has that Icon did not have was it has accessibility or accessories that are different. So Icon, we had the ribbon attachment, which was very cool. It's big and attached and you could put ribbon in there and then it stitch out embroideries where it would actually stitch the ribbon down. Well, they've taken it one step farther and now we have an embellishment attachment that does ribbons and yarns and beads. It is pretty the cool. The beads are really neat, how it does the string of beads. Um, it's not quite as big as ribbon attachment was, and it works a little bit different, but you can do really neat three-dimensional embroidery designs using those textures and things. So that is an extra purchase that right. you could add on. Uh, during right now that uh, we're waiting for it to come available and as soon as we have it in our hands to use, we will we'll do some more um, videos on it. There are built-in designs that come 
uh, in the machine for these attachments. So even if you don't have the attachment, you are going to be tempted to want to buy it right. because they're going to be on there and they'll tell you to attach it and you'll be like, oh, I want to do that design. Right. I like that. Right. <laughs> There's one thing on this machine that people asked for on this machine and it seems silly but and trivial, but it's a clock. Oh yeah. So now on Icon 2, we have a clock, we have a timer, so we could, you know, if we need to limit how much we're sewing, if we have a problem and we sew too much. And, and our loved ones have said right. something about that. Or if we just really want to sit down and utilize our machine more and say, hey, I'm going to sew for 20 minutes. That's a great idea. Every day. Then you could set the timer and it would tell you. I think that'd be a great habit for yeah. a lot of us to get into. Yeah. I did notice when we opened up the Faf Creative Icon 2 that there was an extra hoop in it. Yes. The Grand Dream hoop is the 360 by 350. 350. So it's a super wide hoop and it's included with the machine. And so is there four hoops that there's are now? There's four hoops. So included. there's a 120 by 120, a 200 by 260, and a 360 by 260, and then the two, 350 by 360. So that 350 by 360 is the largest hoop that you can get, mm -hmm. and it is it is a turnable hoop. So it means you'll stitch on one half and then rotate it and stitch on the other half. So and it, it really now comes with Icon 2. That is nice. So yep. it is included. If you are looking to upgrade right. to that machine, maybe you don't have this one, maybe you have another FOP, and that will be something that is a nice accessory. So another thing with that SoNet, my SoNet ecosystem is they've come out with that my SoNet library. On Icon, we can't see anything about my SoNet library on the machine itself. We can go to the computer, look right. at it, and send things to the machine. But on Icon 2, we actually have a button that we can press and look at over 8,000 embroidery designs on the machine. They're always adding designs to it. So that is one thing in the FAF Bootcamp online course that we're doing is really exploring that entire ecosystem. Right. And so when people say my SoNet and you kind of get lost or you think of one thing, but we're actually talking so about a lot of different the components. 10 other things that it yeah. means. That is what we're going to break down. So if you're interested in learning more about that, that will be something to check out more. We really get deep into it. And that library part, again, you can go to the website now mm -hmm. and check out. And by the way, there are free designs on that library. So you mm -hmm. can actually learn how to access it, what's there. And I love the little, because if you're all connected via your, right, uh, your account, cloud, you can just send it from the library and it shows up on screen. Right. Like, like we did it and then we turned our head to look at the machine and, and it's it was already, already here. <laughs> so that is one thing that we are going to encourage you to use that entire, all those cool things that were included with yeah. either one of these machines. Yes, yeah, both machines are fantastic. Um, there is one more huge thing. There's a couple of other little differences that you know are nice, but there's one more huge difference between the two of them. And if you look at the front of the machine, there's this funny little stick out spot that we don't have on Icon. And this yeah. is our oh, the projector. Yes. So and we it, now have a projector on Icon too. And it can do a couple things. It so can do explain, more than a couple things. Explain a few things that the projector so can the do. the big thing it can do as far as sewing, as far as sewing is concerned, it'll actually project a grid down onto the machine. You can have it project a picture of what the stitch will look like in its full size. And it will also yeah give you grid lines, two different grid lines that you can run, or guidelines that you can run mm -hmm. down straight, you can turn at angles. If you, they showed a really neat demonstration yeah. about doing half square triangles by just using the guidelines. So you don't have to draw the line right. on the fabric. It's already done for you. The other really nice thing about all of that is with the projector, the stitch preview, and the guidelines, you can make them any color you want. So it doesn't matter what color of fabric you're, doing. You're, yeah, you're stitching on, you can adjust that to any color so that you can see it really nice and clearly and stitch your stitches out. I was doing something with a recent Stitching Cosmos block and of course that online course is a wonderful way to learn more about your decorative stitches and presser feet but we're always stitching on a curve yeah. and that's always been challenging when you have decorative stitches that go back and forth. Right. And I love that I can pull up that projection in the grid and stay nice and well, even. And we have a lot of, we have a lot, I mean, there are nine millimeter base machines, but we have sideway motion on these machines, which means we can do really big wide, which means the fabric moves left and right. And it's always hard to keep it sort of 
even in parallel with that guideline, you yes. can. It's much easier to keep it parallel and keep your maxi stitches and your larger stitches looking perfect. I know you said it, but I'm going to clarify. It shines your decorative stitch onto the fabric, so in actual size. Right. So I was noticing too when I was changing the size of the decorative stitch, my picture was actually changing that was being shown mm -hmm. onto my fabric. So if I was looking to have it fit, like just even to do a one repeat and have it fit in a certain place, I could shine it and it would and actually be, so oh, that's know. too long. So I just shine it when you shorten it and then shine right. it down. It was perfect. It right. was awesome. Nice. And then the camera well, in the so embroidery the other side. Thing, so the projector works in the embroidery side too to give you the ability to put your hoop in with your fabric. So if you had wanted to embroider on a pocket, you could hoop that fabric with the pocket in it and scan the hoop and it will actually go through, project, scan the hoop and then project the scan onto the screen so that you can then place your embroidery design where you want it to go. That was pretty sweet. You can also take a portion of your embroidery design and scan it down onto your fabric. Oh, right. Yeah. I Just saw like you can right. the stitch. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's everywhere. Right. Um, I do like how it is integrated into the machine, but yet it's not um, like sticking out. No. It's very in front. You don't really know it's, notice it. Yep. It's, it's, it's very accurate the way it's got to angle down, but show you exactly where it's going to stitch. Yes. So no matter if you have the Faf Creative Icon, one, yes. the original one. You have so many features right. that we are doing and featuring and teaching you more about in this FAF Bootcamp online course. So if you want to learn everything in all the corners, yep. we are doing those features in that course. But if you do have the icon too, you've got all these things that we just went over that you'll be able to integrate even more yep. as you get into more, trying more things. And we've got some great projects that are going to push you to new limits using these beautiful machines.